Hello guys, and welcome to something a little different here on my channel. Um, this is the first PlayStation 2 game I've done on my channel, and also the first, like, kind of the first strategy game. Now, obviously you see my title and big, big letters on the screen. Um, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh game. Um, now, even if you don't like Yu-Gi-Oh, or don't know what it is, I suggest you at least give it a chance, because this is an extremely fun game, and now it's going into a cutscene. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's an extremely fun game, because, well, just despite despite being Yu-Gi-Oh, it's a really fun game. So we'll jump right in. Um, there's a few things you can do. If you if you have a, like your friend has the game and he would to bring over his memory card or something, you plug it in. You can trade uh, cards with them. You can you can duel them. Um, and you've got to see the new game continue. I'm gonna start a new game here. Right, uh, we're not going to skip this completely because because if we were to read this, it would take up the entire episode, and I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to tell you the basis of what's going on. Um, this game, Duelist of the Roses, is based on the War of the Roses, which is the the uh, civil war between, I believe, the Lancasters and the Yorks, something like that. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, and then this is this is sort of it put together in, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, and you'll recognise a lot of these characters from the uh, the anime series. Um, and but some of them have different names and stuff uh, to fit in with the theme of the war. And let's enter our name. How how many can we fit Professor Shroom in? I doubt it. Let's just put Shroom. Uh, Shroom. There we go. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Now your name, Shroom, a fine name indeed. Thank you. Your name actually. It it. Oh, what's the word I want here? It, your, your name changes what deck you get at the start of the game. So if you want a specific deck, you can um, you can look up what names you need to type in to get them. Um, you get a choice of three, and we'll get them in a second if they come up. Uh, these rules, they're not like normal Yu-Gi-Oh, or at least when I liked it, <laughs> which was probably a decade ago. So we don't want to play a practice with three boring. I'll explain the rules. Um, when we get to the first game. So, come on. Where's our where's our deck choice, please? That's what we want. Choose carefully, here we go. Okay. So we yeah, we get Maiden of the Aqua, the Illusory Well, that's a weird name. Gentleman. And Wolf Axe Builder. Now it's probably best to go for a tighter deck. Like this one. You've got the main attributes, you've got dark, light, aqua and wind. And that's quite broad. So you want to focus your deck on the smallest amount of types you can, because then you can power them up more and do more things with them. Now this one is looking like we want to go for that. Although I've heard you things about Wolf Axe Builder. So I'm actually gonna go for him. And this is a Earth Dark and I've forgotten <laughs> the other one. And now we have so this is I think I believe this is the Lancasters here. Simon McMoran. And then we've got Seto from the Yorkists, I think they're called. Um and they're they're playing each part of the war. And once we get through this introduction, you'll see how the game is laid out. And it's done quite cleverly. It's quite a good job they've done the story in this game. So I hope it ends soon. We're going to get a choice in a minute of which side we want to go for. Um, which side of the war we want to be on. So we'll we'll see that in a second. Right. And they're talking about these, these cards and you'll see more of that when we actually get to the Correct part. 
Batman in a second. You see what I mean? If we were to read all of this, <laughs> it would take so long. And they're talking about eight cards. So basically, there are. Oh, oh, here now. He, I think he's asking me which side I want to go on now. Yeah. Okay, he is. So we're going to get a choice in a second. And where is that? There we go. Yeah, the Yorkists or the Lancastrians. Okay, we're going to go with the Lancastrians. Yep, and Yugi is the leader of them. And here we go. So this is based in France and UK. Prince Yugi of Lancaster. Here he is. Just want to get to the game. Is that, is that about it? <laughs> when are we actually going to get to the game? So we are part of the Lancastrians army. Is is what is what we could be. Here we go. And we'll go to the proper place we need to go. It's a nice boat there. Right. So that's our starting point. And you see our deck leader, the card we chose, is is how we walk around. Okay. So basically if you look at the bottom where it says rose cards, we have eight red rose cards. And basically the spot above it is for white rose cards, and we win them by defeating these duelists. And these are like these are battles between the two uh, the, the two armies, and then so you have to win them um, and to take the rose cards. And once you've got all eight, that's when you complete it. Um, if you hover over it, you see some things. We were Underwood. That's what he was called in the anime, so you might recognise the name. And then next to it, it says DC eight hundred and fifty-four. And if you look below my name, it says DC814. That's the deck cost. And we have to be below their deck cost to be able to duel them. Otherwise we're not allowed to. And better cards are worth more, so it takes your cost up. And uh, yeah. At the moment, um, we don't have any extra cards, so we can't actually play around with our deck. But you go, you go here, you press start, and then you go into this deck. You have options and save. Um, we can do that once we've won some cards, and you win cards by dueling, so I guess let's go right to Weevil Underwood, shall we? Here we go. Now you see it's a lot different than a normal Yu-Gi-Oh game. So basically, we can move our deck leader around, this is the map, and you see this is forest, and here we have wasteland different, I'm going to call them biomes, they will give different buffs to different types, so forest would give it to bugs, um, wasteland gives it to dinosaurs I know, um, I'm not sure any others. And we can move our deck around by pressing X, um, and here we go, we move them around, and if we press square, we can place a card in these blue areas. So if I go here, this is my hand, and the stars see at the top we have um, four stars in below our life points, which are 4,000. Uh, we have four stars, which means we can play any card up to four stars. So we see here we can't play him because we don't have enough. Uh, so you want to play it safe. You don't want to just put down everything at once in case you don't have enough stars to play something when you need it. So what I'm actually going to do is play this. This is Sogan. And if you press triangle, it gives you the details. So special info, transform the surrounding two space area into meadow terrain. We're going to do that because we're a warrior deck. So we place forward, we want to get it to the centre of the map, ideally. So now we can end our turn and then he'll play. And you can't see his cards obviously because that would be silly. And he's moving away because he thinks I'm going on the attack. So, and then um, the two triggers are to flip the cards over and then 
You can also put them in the fence by pressing the, the bumpers, the L1 and R1. But I'm going to move it forward and flip it. You have to flip it there and then move it forward. And then it'll activate and transform some of the field into what we want. So he won't get the buff here, which is good. And now we have enough to play cards like Gar Garuzis. Gar Garuzis, that's the one. <laughs> Garuzis. So he's a fire type. So let's um, put him out because we need a monster out. And he's probably going to go on the attack. With this Yeti. Okay, so we put another card down here. And Lava Battle Guard, special effect. When this card is flipped, face up all Swamp Battle Guards are increased by 500 points. So my guess is we're going to have another one. Called, um, we're going to have one called Swamp Battle Guard. So we ideally we don't want that to be flipped yet. And the aim of the game is to decrease the opponent's life points to zero. I know this is a lot of things to, to get, but it, it's simple once you know what you're doing. He's actually got... That is quite a powerful monster. I'm glad I got a buff there. I would have lost. And here's a battle scene. Now, I'll turn these off after you've seen what they're like because you get a bit boring if you keep watching them. But he attacks, so he attacks first. And then it's my turn to attack. And he will lose. So his first monster is down. And then you'll see here the difference between the two attack points are decreased. I'll take what well, I've taken away from his life points. Now, if I was in defense mode, um, I and he beat me, I wouldn't have lost any life points because it's defending. But if I'm in defense mode and his attack points are lower, he would lose life points. So that's how this this all works. Let's put this over here. Oh, we oh, activated the trap card block attack. We weren't actually attacking, we were just moving. So that's how that works. Now what can we do here? We can't really place anything of use, so we're going to Well we could we can you can do fusions like this. So we're gonna do this. And this is the order of the cards are gonna be played in. So this plant we played last. So it's best to put the most powerful ones to last. Because then, if the fusion doesn't work, um, you'll still get the most powerful monster. And they didn't fuse, and they didn't fuse. So we're just left with Dark World Forts. I'm gonna leave them there. Okay. So, what else do we have? We have. Fairy egg wing. Nope, we don't have anything yet that will help us here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead put Lava Battle Guard in defense mode because he's got quite powerful defense, and we're going to put Gruzies here. Oh dear. Infinite dismissal. Oh no, he's been spellbound. For three turns. You see down there, it's in the bottom right next to Meadow. It says free. So for three turns he cannot move. Which is fine. Unless he has more powerful monster to destroy it. And that would be bad news. He doesn't it doesn't look like, otherwise he would have attacked it. Okay, he's got an effect. What's this effect? Monsters destroying battles against one who hunts souls cannot be revived once they sent to the graveyard. Let's see if these two can go together. Nope. Put him there, I'm gonna put him in defense mode in a second. We've got a few turns left before the Ruzies can attack. Ha! Ah, and then as you see his, his Hercula bug thingy. It's weaker than the lava battle guard. Ooh, hit the mic there, sorry. <laughs> And because my monster's in defense mode, it won't actually attack back. But it survived the attack, and he will lose life points. There we go. That's how that works. 
We could actually attack him. And let's go ahead and do that in a second. Let's put him in defense mode. And we need to get some of these cards out of our hand because otherwise we are going to wasting the turn. And I believe if we do this, we could create something here. Nope. Okay, I was wrong. Let's put him in defense mode. Let's also put him in defense mode. And then let's attack this guy. Nice, nice wind turbines there. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a battle per episode. Um, hopefully this won't last too long. So we defeat another one of his bugs. It's actually quite a nice looking game for how old it is. I don't remember when it came out, I think it was 2001, 2002. We got a Garusa's back in the next turn, I believe. Now, I don't really want to go and attack because Love of Battle God isn't the most powerful guy. Aha, we have infinite dismissal. Um, and let's get rid of these guys, which we don't need. And we have a trap card ready for his attack. Switch another battle guard to defense mode. Aha, we have a dinosaur, but that's not really going to help us. Let's try playing them two together. There we go. That's a fusion. Now we have this guy. Now you only allowed five monsters on the on the field at once. Ah, that was lucky. Man eat a bug. When he flips he destroys one field one monster on the field randomly. What can we attack him with? Let's attack him with this guy, shall we? Might as well take the points we can. Quite a lot of points actually, yeah. 1200 that was. Okay, right, what can we play then? Ooh, battle, battle rocks would be a good one to play. So let's wait a few turns. Um, so we've got this Cybersaurus, which is our fusion. Garuzis. I don't really want. To. Let's attack this guy, shall we? That was a spell card, obviously. Over here, let's go to the fence. Ah, let's go forward a bit. Battle Ox. Let's get this guy in the attack. Now, Weevil has this powerful card. I really hope he doesn't get the use. Attack this guy. Let's take one. Pretty much lost after this one. I 
believe the insect worm is actually part of what he needs to create that, that great moth or whatever it's called. I'm glad I got rid of it. Okay, so he's near, he's near lost now. I think we just need to attack. Oh no, that's not what we want to do. Let's just attack whatever this guy is. Okay, we're going to take it down. We won't, we won't get any points because he was in defense mode, but we're going to take it out. Which is good. Taking out his monsters this is what we want to do. Take out all his defenses. Bye, little spider. Okay. Can we play anything this turn? Let's see what we can play. So we've got this wing beast. Uh, warrior, what's this effect? Okay. Let's play these two. Maximum number of monsters on the field. Mm -hmm. So, who should we get rid of? This guy. Oh, they're fusing. That's not, that's not good. Not bad either, though. It's fine. Let's just play, this, play these two in defense. Uh, let's take that forward. It's no loss if we lose him. He's gonna beat me. Okay, but now Garuzi's gonna attack him because we know his attack points. We aren't gonna whitewash him though because we are gonna lose 100 life points here. <laughs> Just falls over. Hate insects. <laughs> okay, Garuzis, let's do this. Let's finish this off. We go, we won. Whoa, we win. <laughs> okay, here is the slot machine, which is how you win cards, so you have to stop it. Um, and if you line up three in a row, you actually get a different card because it fuses together. So we got that's a fusion card. Okay, we got that worm thing. I wouldn't mind Manny the bug. Oh, he's got another one. Need a one. Okay. Well, we got two cards there. No, I lost. This can't be happening. Yep, so we got a white rose card. And every time you beat one, someone, it brings up a new. two new options to duel. But these two are quite powerful. We have Pegasus and Keith. We actually want to go for him next, but we're going to do it next episode. Let's just check the cards we won. So here is our deck over here. And this is the cards, all our cards. So this is Sacrifice 2 and Sacred Modernsons and Summon... Oh, Javelin Beetle. Well, actually, I wouldn't mind having that in. Do I have any insects? I believe I have. Oh, whoops, what am I doing? So this is Type Sort. Is it? Is it Type? Yeah, Spherical Warriors. Oh, 
Do I have any? Yes, I do. We have one insect, which is good. Now, let's get... What can we get rid of? Um, so, let's just get rid of some cards that aren't worth anything. That doesn't really do much. This guy. Let's get rid of this guy. Squares to get rid of them. I believe she has a special effect, no? Okay, so let's put these two guys in. There we go. So guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please tell me in the comments if, if you like it, if you like the style of game. Because um, I'm going to carry on playing it, um, because it's a fun game. <laughs> but I just want to know what you think, so yeah, tell me what you think. So, I'm going to end the episode here guys, and uh, I will see you in the next episode.